Alexander de Serpa Pinto. Alexander Alberto de Roca de Serpa Pinto, Viscount of Serpa Pinto, aka Serpa Pinto, April 20, 1846, December 28, 1900, was a Portuguese explorer of southern Africa and a colonial administrator. Early life. Serpa Pinto was born at the Quinta das Poldres, Tendais, in Sinfaix, a Portuguese village on the River Douro. He joined Colegio Militar at age 10. There he became the first student battalion commander in 1864, when he joined the Portuguese army and was sent to Portuguese Mozambique. In 1869 he took part in suppressing tribes in revolt around the Lower Zambezi. Exploration also in 1869, Pinto went to Eastern Africa on an exploration of the Zambezi River. Eight years later he led an expedition from Benguela, Portuguese Angola, into the basins of the Congo and Zambezi rivers. The town of Minang was named Serba Pinto, after him, up to 1975. In 1877, he and Lieutenant Commander Capello and Lieutenant Ivans, both of the Portuguese Navy, were sent to explore the southern African interior. All three had African experience and seemed to be the right age and temperament for the work. They left Banguela in November. Soon after their departure, however, they parted company at B. Capello and Ivans turning northward whilst Serpa Pinto continued eastward, gradually shifting his course to the south. He crossed the Quando, Quando, River in June 1878 and in August reached Leloui, the Baratsi capital on the Zambezi. There he received assistance from the missionary Francois Gouillard, enabling him to continue his journey along the Zambezi to the Victoria Falls. He then turned south and arrived at Pretoria in northern South Africa on February 12, 1879. Capello and Ivans emerged at Dondo, on the Kwanzaa River in northern Angola. Serpa Pinto was the fourth explorer to cross Africa from west to east, and the first to lay down a reasonably accurate route between B, in present-day Angola, and Laloui. In 1881 the Royal Geographical Society awarded him their Founders Medal, for his journey across Africa, during which he explored 500 miles of new country. In 1881 Serpa Pinto published his two-volume Como Eu Atravessia Africa, translated by Alfred Elwes and published in English as How I Crossed Africa. In the same year French and German translations were also published. Nyasa region. In 1879 the Portuguese government formally claimed the area south and east of the Rua River, which currently forms the southeastern border of Malawi, and in 1882 occupied the lower Shire River Valley as far as the Rua. The Portuguese then attempted to negotiate British acceptance of their territorial claims, but the convening of the Berlin Conference, 1884, ended these discussions. In 1884, Serpa Pinto was appointed as Portuguese consul in Zanzibar, and given the mission of exploring and remapping the region between Lake Nyasa and the coast from the Zambezi to the Rovama River and securing the allegiance of the chiefs in that area. In 1885, Serpa Pinto undertook an expedition in 1885 with Lieutenant Augusto Cardozo as his second in command. Serpa Pinto fell seriously ill and was carried to the coast, where he eventually recovered. Cardozo, his 25-year-old lieutenant, continued the exploration, visiting Lake Nyasa and the Shire Highlands, but failed to make any treaties of protection with the Yao chiefs and territories west of the Lake Malawi. Britain declined to accept the Portuguese claim that the Shire Highlands should be considered part of Portuguese East Africa, as it was not under their effective occupation. In order to prevent Portuguese occupation, the British government sent Henry Hamilton Johnston as British consul to Mozambique and the interior, with instructions to report on the extent of Portuguese rule in the Zambezi and Shire Valleys in the vicinity, and to make conditional treaties with local rulers beyond Portuguese jurisdiction, to prevent them accepting protection from Portugal. In 1888, the Portuguese government instructed its representatives in Portuguese East Africa to attempt to make treaties of protection with the Yao chiefs southeast of Lake Malawi and in the Shire Highlands and an expedition organized under Antonio Cardozo, a former governor of Galimane, set off in November 1888 for the lake. Rather later, a second expedition led by Serpa Pinto, who had been appointed governor of Mozambique, moved up the Shire Valley. Between them, these two expeditions made over 20 treaties with chiefs in what is now Malawi. Serpa Pinto met Johnston in August 1889 east of the Ruo, when Johnston advised him not to cross the river into the Shire Highlands. Although Serpa Pinto had previously acted with caution, he crossed the Ruo to Karamo, now in Malawi in September 1889. Following minor clashes with Serpa Pinto's force, Johnston's deputy, John Buchanan, 
declared a British protectorate over the Shire Highlands, despite contrary instructions, although this was later endorsed by the Foreign Office. Later Life Shortly after this clash with Britain, Serpa Pinto returned to Portugal where he was promoted to the rank of Colonel. He was Governor General of Cape Verde from January 20, 1894 until January 17, 1898. Serpa Pinto died on December 28, 1900, in Lisbon. Honors, Death in 1900, and Remembrance Recognition and honors for his services were not wanting. Dot in Portugal, he was made Comendador of the Orders of Knighthood, Ordem de Torre e Espada, the Ordem Sao Bento de Viz, and the Ordem de Santiago de Espada, in France the Cross of the Ordre National de la Legion d'Honneur was conferred on him, in Brazil he was made Knight of the Ordem de Rosa, and in Turkey he was honored with the Great Cross of the Order of the Medici. He received honorary membership and awards from various scientific societies, including membership of the French Académie des Sciences Astronomy Division, and the Founders Medal of the Royal Geographical Society of London. On January 24, 1899 he was honored by King Carlos I, 1863-1908, with the noble title of Viscount. Sir Papinto died in Lisbon on December 28, 1900 at the age of 54. His earthly remains were laid to rest in the family grave of Antonio Gomez dos Santos and Francisco de Souza Santos Moreira and their families in the Cemeterio dos Praceres in Lisbon. To honor and remember him, streets and squares in many Portuguese towns and cities were named after him, for example the Rua Serpa Pinto in Lisbon, Porto, Tomar, Evora, Bragança, Torres Vedras, Rio Maior, and Sinfaix, to mention only a few. In Angola, the town Serpa Pinto, now Minong, main seat of the province Quando Cubango, was named after him. His name was even given to two ships, and as trade name for products like cigars and biscuits. During the 125th commemoration of the founding of the Sociedade de Geografia de Lisboa, two stamps were issued with a portrait of Serpa Pinto in a prominent place, while a portrait of him also appears on a banknote from Angola. In Sinfaix the Serpa Pinto Museum was opened on April 20, 2000, housing a small exhibit dedicated to this famous son of the area. On a small square in front of the museum is a bust of Serpa Pinto. The house where Serpa Pinto's parents lived in Porto Antigo, Sinfaix, on the banks of the Rio Pistania, Vistanza River, where it flows into the Rio Douro, Douro River, has been transformed into the luxurious estalage in Porto Antigo and the conference hall there is named after Serpa Pinto. Also the original dwelling and outhouses still stand, but in a neglected state. Dot in Sinfaix was founded the Associação Cultural Serpa Pinto, ACSP, in 2007 published in Giariu da Repubblica, 2 Superscript A. Seri, N. 38-22 de Fevereiro de 2008, page 7339. The address is Lugar de Vila Vassosa, CX Postal 327, 4690-906 Sinfaix, Portugal. The idea of the association is to develop cultural, social, scientific, technological and artistic activities in Sinfaix, in Portugal, in the CPLP, community of Portuguese-speaking countries, and in all countries interested in the historical course, life and work General Alexander Alberto de Roca Serpa Pinto but also contribute to the enrichment, protection and conservation of General Alexander Alberto de Roca Serpa Pinto's estate encourage teaching and research in the areas of natural sciences, anthropology, history and sociology and to promote culture, defense and conservation of the historical, artistic and cultural heritage of Sinfaix, Portugal and CPLP. It have also an educational function by bringing into being a library, conference facilities and exhibition locale. Furthermore, the association promote the study the life and work of Serpa Pinto and the era in which he lived in a scientific and interdisciplinary manner. This is a good thing, because in contemporary history books his expedition is described as one of the most exciting undertakings of modern times. During the last two decades of the 19th century the name Alexander Alberto de Roca Serpa Pinto was legendary, not only in Portugal, but throughout the whole of Europe, and he contributed considerably to the increase in honor and prestige of his fatherland in geographical and political circles. Notes.